Okay, I'm sorry. I um uh, I don't know that code cut. Okay. So yeah, uh, when we talk about, uh, I mean, uh, in the candle in which you are facing tunneling, is uh -huh. it is your candle, uh, you know, melting something similar to this, where it is not melting all the way around, and uh, some of the wax is left on the sides. Exactly, and the thing is, uh, the wick is not even seen for them. The pictures that uh, that they share, right? Like mm -hmm. the wick is not even seen in their candle. Not seen. Ah, uh, yeah. It's completely submerged, I guess. Ma'am, yeah, ma that's a clear case of tunneling. I mean, uh, what happens is, uh, see, this is, is another sample which we test burned. As okay. you can see, it actually burned all the way around. Okay. It actually melted all the way around. And mm -hmm. this uh, will this candle actually, I kept it burning for around three to four, three and three and a half hours. Okay. I did not, I mean, the flame was still going good. The thing is, uh, in candle making, the uh, problem is that uh, for each jar diameter of jar and for each wax composition, we actually mm -hmm. need a different wick size. For example, as you can see, this in this I have used soy wax and the diameter is around 3.2, 3.3 inch, roughly yeah. around, yeah, that, no, sorry, 3.5 inch diameter roughly. And mm -hmm. so in this case, I had to test uh, multiple wick sizes and in this i've actually used two wicks of ibl 2.5 and also added 10 percent coconut oil in order to get the softness that i want to uh, that i want and also get a full melt pool with the wick sand that i'm using whereas okay. uh, like in this jar uh, i have used ybl uh, this one is for ybl yeah ybl 4.5 in this and uh, this is a paraffin based wax blend and okay. but in this, as you can see, I have faced a uh, slight tunnel, tunneling mm -hmm. here. So that's mm -hmm. why I had to. I mean, I'll be. I had to rework on the uh, composition that I am testing in this and uh, play around with the steric acid and also play around the different wick size to get a, a melt pool that can that, uh, that can give me. Uh, oh, sorry, to get a burn that can, can give me a full melt pool in about for this particular jar uh, around two point five to uh, three hours without suiting. So that is the target that we want to achieve. So that's why it is very essential to do a proper wick testing. We cannot use a single wick size for each and every wax or for each and every jar. Uh, to elaborate, elaborate it further. Okay. For example, as I said, I've, I've been using uh, the, uh, YBA, sorry, YBL 4.5 in the paraffin wax. But mm -hmm. if it would have been soy wax, Okay. Wax, then I would have to use YBL six to get a decent melt pool. Okay. Okay. What so is yeah. it? I, sorry. Yeah. No. What was it, What is the full form for that? So YBL is our own big series that we have okay. developed. Uh, okay. It's just a so you can say a model number that okay. just like Eco and CG we have our okay. own model number for the wicks and. Uh, to if you want uh, like since you asked the full form the full form is actually uh, derived this is actually derived from uh, the name of our uh, for my first brand that i was working on it okay. was yours beloved uh, okay. it was a candle brand that i started i, I had to you know pause it uh, around during covid first wave and okay. uh, so that's when i that was the time when i actually came up and we actually started working on the wicks and developing the sizes that we want and tested uh, in different sets of condition to okay. be able to you know come up with all those sizes and and so that's since I was working on that brand at that, at that moment for that's where the abbreviation came from. Okay, okay, got yeah. it. Perfect. So the wick is one of the main thing that I will have to look up right for each and yes, every sir. for the uh, for the uh, you know design candles like a mm -hmm. bubble uh, the diamond ones and all uh, for mm -hmm. that. Again, Same. we have to use different yeah. width. Okay. Yeah, again, ma'am, see, different diameter, uh, you, you have to take in consideration the diameter of the candle. Okay. Uh, diameter of, or like if the pillar, like this, just give me a second. So you have to take uh, take care of the diameter of the pillar as well. Uh, you have to take, or if you are using jar, you have to take care of the diameter of the jar. You have to take care of the wax that you're using. For example, in this, this is pure bees. This is made from pure beeswax, okay. right? 
so and uh, here i'm using soy but i know that since i have this is pure bees like and i have not added any coconut oil or any 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 softening agent so mm -hmm. obviously the melting point of this particular wax composition is going to be very very high compared to this compared to soy because okay. beeswax have a higher melting point compared to okay. soy okay. similarly okay. soy and beeswax have a higher melting point compared to paraffin so you have to take all these sets in consideration and also the the color load that you are adding like if you are adding uh, some color may increase the uh, like uh, the wax melting point and uh, some color may even start clogging the wick slightly so you okay. also have to okay. test each and every variation that you're working on and okay. similar way you have to also ensure that the fragrance load that you have added like uh, a candle with 10% fragrance load of let's say fresh lavender mm -hmm. may work differently compared to uh, a candle made with 12% fragrance load of the same oil that is fresh lavender with the same kind of back and same kind of jar so okay yeah so that's why testing is very very essential uh um then i think the whole problem stays you know it's around the wick i guess yeah ma'am ma'am it uh, if i talk about myself that it took me around 8 months to figure out the wick because when i started uh in 2018 that uh, there was no uh brand or any uh way i mean it, the product was not available in i mean itself so we i had to search and then work out and create the product on its uh, from the scratch so it took actually took me around 8 months to be able to figure out the wick for my candle and this was a jar which okay. i was testing that so i was not even able to burn this candle and this is actually made from in 2018 itself this piece okay. is from 2000 uh, uh, i would say uh, late 2018 so mm -hmm. even to get a full melt pool in this jar which is made from beeswax and 30 30 to 35% coconut oil i was i had to wait i mean i had to do a lot of testing for at least 8 months so yeah but oh, since so right now oil hmm. uh, like brings down the bel uh, melting point or uh... coconut yeah it uh, it actually helps in soft making the wax softer okay okay so yep. i've been only working with soya wax i have not uh, you know i a paraffin wax uh, the client that i was talking to you yesterday about you know they wanted to burn for 24 by 7 i mm -hmm. kept them saying there's no way that you can burn uh, you know the glass might get broken i've told yeah. them that yeah they keep telling that it's some ritual and uh, they came back well, telling you can you can as i said see it, there are so many youtube videos uh -huh. uh, available on oh sorry on youtube that if you search candle burst or with such kind of uh, keyword you will actually see uh, candle actually catching fire and jar getting burst uh -huh. due to all uh -huh. these overheating issue and when we right. take the jar quality very seriously and uh -huh. because uh, we actually test to and we actually test to ensure that these jars can actually uphold the heat the for at least 4 5 to 6 hours and we actually use heat gun constantly to take the temperature at least to 200 200 fahrenheit to ensure that the quality is good enough because ma'am it's a fire hazard exactly if, if it actually i mean you get burst okay it's a fire hazard and is going to damage a lot and uh, also agar if there are children in road then yeah yeah it is going to cause it very it. good uh, yeah so you can uh, you can create some you know, some kind of things like these you can and pitch that you can you actually have a chance to pitch a different product to be honest mm -hmm, mm -hmm. make simple candles like this if they are looking for rituals so then obviously they might not be interested in the designer boards that uh, are now going on are you know uh, you're going on nowadays for example the bubble candles and uh, all the lady figuring candles because but for rituals i would say pillars are a great product that you can go over and these looks look classic these are very these 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 look classy as well as you can actually burn it for very long and time out of hours obviously yeah. i mean you can burn it keep it burning let it burn keep burning for as long as you want you can at least okay. you just need to uh, put a uh, some uh, container so that uh -huh. the wax doesn't spill out in That's case it uh, yeah okay okay yeah um that is pretty much i had because i think all mm -hmm. my 
problem gets solved with the yes so um, let me show you one more thing uh, yeah. i don't know you might have already uh, checked that on our website but uh, if in case you haven't let me show it to you uh, just give me a second i'm opening the website and, and then i'll be sharing my screen yeah sure okay And for what time need to do it for? Should we use two week? Uh, okay, that's an amazing question. And we actually had a separate uh, uh, session for this topic itself. Let huh. me, but I'll be covering it here. Just give me a second. Uh, just let me know when my screen is visible. Yeah, I can see it now. So yeah, this is the website that we have right now. It is all getting open in my admin view. So okay. yeah. So anyways, so if you go to the Wix section mm -hmm. and uh, we have a sample pack as well as you can order the individual Wix as well. But uh, just want to show you one thing, which will help you in your testing as well. Like okay. in this sample pack, we have uh, ten Wix in each sizes, and okay. here is a small. Wix size chart, which you can refer uh, in order to start your testing. You need not, I you do not it. need, yeah, you don't okay. need to test each and every Wix that we have. You can actually use this as a starting point uh, and mm -hmm. uh, build your testing based on this. Like you can, uh, for example, if you're working with paraffin, then mm -hmm. uh, like this is for soy and beans, uh, then but so but we'll add for paraffin as well. Like for okay. example, if you're making soy candles. Then okay. uh, for around two point seven five to three in jar, you can you you can start your testing with YBL six. If it okay. works, well and good. If not, then you can also start with YBL seven. We have another site, which okay. I, which is not updated in this page, but uh, it is updated in this page. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah. So we use if YBL six doesn't work, you can test YBL seven for the same jar. Okay. So we uh, so this way, uh, if you think that YBL six is getting uh, too hot or the flame high flame is too high for the wax composition that you might be using, in case mm -hmm. you're using someone sells some uh, you know some other variety of soy wax, then you can reduce based on the result that you're getting. You can try YBL four or YBL four point five based on the okay. result that you're okay. getting. Okay. But yeah, so this will save a lot of time and uh, effort, and yeah. It Definitely, I think be, this is going yeah. to be helpful. Yes, ma'am. And also another thing that I would like to showcase. So uh, another reason why, I mean, uh, a lot of time we, uh, we as candle makers face tunneling, even though the wick that we've chosen is absolutely fine, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. But this is actually the uh, one of the issues that one of my customer actually was facing. And we that's where... Uh, uh we actually recommended uh, a good big quality big holder as well the thing is uh sometimes what happens is when we uh you know pour hot wax into the jar uh -huh. what will happen that the wick will actually bend on its own due to exactly the wax getting exactly. Melted. So, exactly so uh but and, and when that happens what will what will so it will okay i have some recipes written here so but let me So what will happen is when the this if you, let's say this is a jar and this is the wick, but as if it is not being held tightly, uh -huh. what will happen? The moment the hot wax is going to uh, you know uh, pour, get in. Yeah, the wax the wick will actually start bending. Okay. Start okay. To bend, right. And the problem is the problem which arise due to this is let's say you uh, you're burning your candle, and okay. till this point the candle is burning. I mean, straight. I mean, the candle is uh -huh. burning straight uh -huh. and beautifully. You are getting a full okay. minute food. But as soon as your candle reach, is going to reach this particular section, okay. since the wick is bent, the flame will start to get submerged again in the melted wax. Okay. okay. And no matter how much uh, you you may try to you know straighten the wick, it will keep on bending because it is bent. It is already, already bent, bent under okay. the wax. So that's why it is very essential to use. A big holder, like this, like a big holder, uh, okay. to actually hold it in middle as well as tightly in the middle. Like it, it will not let it 
bent even though it the wax have act, the coated coating of the wax have melted but a, a wick holder a, a which can hold the wick tightly right it will not let it bend and your candle is going to burn uh, consistently till the end okay okay i get it yeah clear now this looks like an again i should start from the beginning <laughs> i mean uh... <laughs> yeah this this feels like okay i'm not on the right track <laughs> i mean i would say you are on a right track because the thing is here's the thing um okay may i ask something uh, uh if sure. you don't mind what are your numbers i mean as in in your mind what are you what do you think that how is your business running and how much order are, are the orders that you're getting do you think are you are on a stage where it is a sustainable business right now if you don't mind sharing uh not really because i do see a lot mm -hmm. of competitors coming up with the same uh, you know same no, no, i mean let's 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 leave the competitor but uh, let's talk about the number, uh, result that let's talk about the uh, uh, consistency of the number of orders that you're getting per month or per uh, day. it's pretty good since it's just mm -hmm. been two months you know like friends mm -hmm. and friends of friends are ordering mm -hmm. but when it comes to mm -hmm. third person it mm -hmm. is a bit low it is not okay. that well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so i'm okay so the major reason i actually asked this is because uh, uh i do not want you to get demotivated just because your bigs are not working i get it because the thing yeah. is what i believe is that uh and this is the major mistake that a lot of candle makers are actually making we okay. feel that just because we have made candle which is going to burn a without creating any soot and it uh, if, and it is going to smell beautifully as well we mm -hmm. feel that just because we have a good product we are going to have successful business and trust me this is the worst uh, notion that one can have because okay, okay. the thing is uh, what i have experienced is that candle learning how to make a good candle uh -huh. is just 10% part of your whole business strategy okay, making a good okay. product is is just a 5 to 10% part but the rest of the 90 to 95% part is actually your branding your marketing Marketing, sales, definitely. Your sales, your operations, your how you're handling the admin tasks. So mm -hmm. that is actually what build a good business. Because what I have seen is that I have actually had a long conversation with people who are asking me similar question. Okay. But but you won't believe that the kind of business that they already have uh -huh. is like this. Saying that they, uh, I mean, I yesterday I actually met customer. So okay. he had a call with a customer who is obviously having issues like tunneling and everything, and she was not aware of the concept that we just discussed. That you okay. need different wicks for different size of jars and different waxes and different oil concentration and all the stuff. Okay. But still, she was generating a business for where she was selling uh, ten thousand to twenty thousand candles per month. Oh, that's nice. Why? Because she was great in the rest ninety five percent of the part. Okay. And okay. Trust me, and this is this may sound very harsh, but uh -huh. it really uh, having a good product but bad marketing and bad branding no, will not, not help. Really will is a short short way to failure. But even if you have an average product or a subpar product, but a good uh -huh. branding, a good marketing strategy, a good customer relationship management system, you are going to be much successful than let's say your. Uh, your competitor who is just making good candles but do not have anything they, they have not you know yeah so that is uh, so we also if you let if you're saying that you, you know whether you're on right track or not i would uh -huh. say you have to also think on this perspective as well not just that uh, whether you have will make a good candle or not because okay. this as i said you can actually get your candle made from a, a professional person as well right uh -huh. professional who knows how to make candle and you can uh and still this is the marketing part yeah and i'm not pitching you anything i'm just saying that i get it i get it right because so that's why i would say right now yes uh when we when we talk with a new candle makers we actually suggest them to spend a month or uh, month or uh, month to uh, develop their products get okay. proper finishing and okay. then think about selling because okay. Okay. if you're doing both the things at the same time Either mm -hmm. you are going to spend a lot of your energy in making the can, making the product, and then, or either you will be able to spend that energy in selling that. 
and if you're going to be get you know get confused in both the both the stuff then mm-hmm. i mean uh, it's going to create chaos i mean it won't definitely so i have been in the situation as well yes yes i can i can sense that a lot <laughs> because uh, as for my, my own personal experience like in 2018 uh, mm-hmm. i was also more focused on creating the pro- creating product i was uh, really into you know i really love researching i really love you know testing out various product do a lot of uh, you know testing and trial trial and error and actually that actually also helped me in building uh, the product range that we have today i mean the soy wax uh, the only reason we have kind of the very uh, quality of soybean that we have today is because i was i was really curious about uh, you know how i how that wax is actually made and i did months and months of research okay, and, okay. And then i took the idea and uh, mm-hmm. take took it to one of the manufacturers for with, with, with whom we are working with okay, and, uh, okay. made him realize that yes this is this can Possibly. be done and uh, uh-huh. this uh-huh. this actually this is one of the product which actually do have a market and because he was really like for him the quality of the soy wax which uh, we were selling earlier which was available prior to we were we actually made this back okay was really not something that he w- was you know interested in because for him, I get it. that is not the quality that he would want to be related to the brand so we then we he, we work even further and develop a and he is just he is a mastermind and okay. he was okay. able to develop something which i was i already had in only in paper but he was uh-huh. able to cons- really make it and then okay. keep the consist- keep it keep supplying it consistently with the same qual- kind of standard and the quality so yeah okay. but again one of the challenge which i faced earlier was uh, that since i was only interested invested in you know mm-hmm. testing uh, building make blending with different fragrances we making new fragrance blends making new products like buying different kind of products from competitors and testing out how they have made it i realized that i was not focusing the, and investing the same that kind of energy in actually selling them i mean i was just you know building my uh-huh. product catalog I but get it. it is really not worth it if you're not mm-hmm. selling it yeah when you make hundreds of products and you sell nothing what is the point exactly exactly and uh, so that's when we actually i came to real i came to when i came to the realization i uh, that's when i pushed a break and uh, and uh, started uh, doing more starting spending more time and energy on selling what i have already made what i have what we already have and okay. build something and also this again this actually helped me a lot because when i started focusing more on selling Uh-huh. then the reviews that i was getting from the customer actually helped me realize that what exactly the product i should be making because okay. earlier most of my product products were based on my assumption okay right? okay but when you actually start focusing on selling what you already have uh-huh. and then uh-huh. interact with the customers you actually first since you are going to sell you have to build relationship with your customer like okay. right now it can be a one to one relationship or it can be a transactional relationship as well like you they paid you and you uh, you sold their sold them your product but mm-hmm. why, when we do this we actually get to connect with them as well we actually get to uh, talk with to them as well and try we can actually try and spend time to understand what why uh, what are the challenges that they are facing what is what, what was so the experience accordingly you can make a yeah, product right if your customer like in this example like when you said uh one of your customer want to burn the candle for 24 hours now you have exactly. idea that those ritual candles should i mean if because for the, for the people who are actually into ritual i had a customer who, who was only into ritual candle make the make ritual candles and she even uh-huh. used to make candles with, uh, you know taper candles pillar candles and mostly most of the candles were from made from uh, paraffin as well because uh, her exactly. customer didn't the care about it exactly the one that i'm talking is also paraffin yeah because they do not care because their uh, their product expectation is really different they are more into manufacturing side of the thing instead of uh, so pure so pure beeswax or pure or paraffin they some of most of them they do not care if they just mm-hmm. want the herbs that they the uh, herbs that or crystals that they want to uh crystal that they want to add in their candles that, that, that i mean uh, 
obviously some do require pure speed uh, or pure soy as well but yeah but now since you have um, an idea that a, a new product like a pillar basic and classic pillar candle can actually be a valid product for them you can spend your time here mm-hmm. instead of you know thinking of a idea and uh, and expecting it to work in the market okay okay so it's pretty much like you know only once we connect with others i think we will find, we'll be able to find what exactly exactly are exactly and for that you have to be available in the market so uh, like even the pop up shop that you are going to have tomorrow mm-hmm. i would rather uh, advise you not to be behind the table and sit and wait for the client to come to your table mm-hmm. but rather mm-hmm. stand outside the table or keep your chair outside the table Uh, mm-hmm. like uh, in front of the your table and as soon as you feel that uh, you have uh, uh, you know keep looking at the customers or the people who are passing by and as soon as you have you know uh, created a, you had a even a small moment of eye contact invite them to your stall and ask okay. them to check some candle samples and uh, because one out of 10 people are going to obviously they are going to uh, visit your shop by this this way but uh, It, but if you're going to okay. keep sitting and wait, uh, expect them to come to your shop, it may not happen because uh, there are a lot of people who are trying to get, uh, grab the attention. Because that's how I did in my first uh, few uh, exhibition in 2018. Okay, I okay, was, I get it. Mm-hmm. Constantly standing outside my table, and wo to, uh, right now we cannot ask a customer to constantly smell the candle because of the COVID reason. But at that mm-hmm. time, I was you know inviting people to just. smell my candle and then talk about these acts and essential or how they can how they are better or like how they can actually help uh in case of stress relieving and anxiety and all the stuff so and uh, better sleep so those were the kind of and that actually helped me generate at least enough sale uh-huh, uh-huh. to be able to cover the cost or uh, the, you know basically a uh, no profit no loss stage so at least okay. uh, and that was also a win win for me because that was the first ever exhibition that i put for my candle okay okay so yeah. tomorrow is my first exhibition so i think it's a all the best for me as well mm-hmm. yep and if possible add some uh, uh, chocolates as well like if you can make some hand with obviously you don't have enough time but like in future uh, uh-huh. the exhibition you can make some you can buy some chocolate or uh, molds in heart shape or any shape And uh-huh, you can make some, uh-huh. ha- you know, homemade chocolates using the, uh, you know, uh, we get, uh, I mean, chocolates. Ke, matlab, uh, wo mil jate hain. Uh, but, uh, dark chocolate and white chocolate. Okay, compound mil jate hain. Uh-huh. You can okay. use those compound and you know create some basic recipes for making chocolates as well. And that is also going to add some more, <coughs> I mean, attraction mm-hmm. to your stall. Like you okay. can just okay. sell five rupees per piece and basically create a, uh, you know, an and uh, a friendly thing a friendly not move. friendly thing but uh, something which can attract attention okay 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 yeah that's uh, if because uh, you have to stand out like you yes. literally have to stand out as much as you, as much, you can you need to do anything uh, which is possible in order that's to get the attention even mm-hmm. if you have to uh, like one other another trick which i learned from my friend he used to do it in his exhibition that he used to have a bowl full of tea light candles And uh-huh. he was selling them for four to five rupees per piece. Like oh. his children were coming and you know buying those five rupees per piece. But uh, this way he was able to you know interact with the customers and you know sell upsell some other uh, stuff as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you can also have some uh, you know very uh, cheap and affordable sample where the customer may not you know spend time. Uh, okay. The customer do not have to think of you know whether they should be spending this money or not. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. so that's pretty much from my end i think sure. uh, but so, yeah as i told mm-hmm. i am in the process of making candles maybe mm-hmm. if i get any doubt or uh, you know sure. i'll work on the wick for sure so that mm-hmm. you know i don't get this complaint again mm-hmm. uh, meanwhile is there any other tip that you can give for you know uh, for tonight candle making thing 
Uh, okay, may I ask the dimension of the jar that you're using? Or uh, if you can show the jar. Yeah, just give me a minute. Mm -hmm. For one second. I'm not able to rotate it, but anyhow, this is how this is one of the size. Okay, this is this two point five inch or something, or is yeah, it three inch? Yes. Which one? Two point five or three inch? Uh, this should be two point five. The height is uh, two point five. And diameter? Um, diameter. I am not sure. Uh, but mm -hmm. the regular black mat ones, uh, mm -hmm. again, I think they are of three inch tall. And uh, are these Arja? I mean, um, okay, this actually is similar, similar to the one that we have. So, yeah. So, is the, is the diameter similar? Uh, yes, for both so, it's similar. So, yeah, it's, it may be at, uh, around 2.93 inch diameter. And okay. uh, which is the which wax are you using right now? Uh, I'm currently using soya wax. And uh, is it from our store or is it a different wax? Just to it's, it's uh, from a different. Idea. It's from a different. May I uh, see the local uh, market. May I see the wax? Uh, it, it may help me. Uh, you know, guess what will be the uh, temperature for that. Uh, it's it looks similar. It's a flake. Like These are flakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so are you able to get smooth tops and flakes because that's a major challenge because flakes have very dry and brittle texture and unless you blend something into it you will not get a smooth texture yeah the you know initially i did face problem but uh, once mm -hmm. i started using uh, uh, i was using uh, color powders and then i switched i'm sorry i was using crayons and then i switched to color powders for colors after using color powders i think the uh, you know uh, the finishing looks much better i would say so you're not facing any sort of crack uh, no cracks aren't there but uh, even though if i if i you know in few cases i do uh, face cracks in in uh, at that time i've been using this air gun okay because the thing is that's where uh let me show you if i have the chunk with me mm -hmm. okay uh, okay i this is a this actually is a bit dirty but uh, sorry your video is turned off my video is turned off. So just give me a second. Let me check. Is it good now? Uh, no, even now I couldn't see. Just give me a second. Yeah, now I can. Now I can. Okay, great, great, great. So yeah, so this is the uh, junk. Right? Okay. So the thing is, uh, in flakes, the as I said, the texture is going to be very, very brittle and rough, and because, uh, and I don't know if you can see, this is actually we have already uh, bonded, but you can see this uh, texture. Mm -hmm. You can see this. Uh, uh, yeah, it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, but okay, but we'll. Uh, but so the, this is the uh, soy wax which you can actually help you get that. But yeah, okay. so the flakes. Uh, flakes. One thing which I would say this is luck. Uh, you're lucky because the flakes have a lower melting point and it is slightly easier to achieve uh, with just the you know thinner wick as well compared okay. to the chunks because chunks have a slightly higher melting point. And, okay. Uh, okay. And since you are already satisfied with the texture, then let's uh, uh -huh. move on okay. with this right now. So uh, our second question that I would like to ask is that what kind of uh, uh, like, how, if you do, you have any image which can show me that how much wax was left on the side so that we can see and uh, try to uh, do I mean, try to uh, find a solution for that without uh, tunneling pictures? I do not have, uh, like, I don't mm -hmm. have anything on my hand, or neither my customer's mm -hmm. pictures. Uh, mm -hmm. but uh, the thing I said, right, uh, the whole wick is getting submerged at times. No, actually, the thing is, the reason I am asking this is because I want to know whether. Is it because uh, some wax is left on the side, right? Uh -huh. Which is due to which the, uh, like for example, if we have a tunneling here 
and we have some wax you know left on the sides mm-hmm. so what will happen that uh, the flame that we have right because the wax is constantly left on the side the mel- melted wax is going to collect and the mer- collect in the middle and it will slowly drown the wick one okay. is one is this second again the which we discussed earlier that whether in case your wicks are not straight and even though you are getting a full melt pool but okay. right now your wicks are getting bent and and due to which they are getting submerged okay 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 so yeah, that's why i want wanted to see if we uh, and analyze what exactly is uh, causing this issue i will send you a picture after call maybe that works yeah sure yeah uh, like i will i will ask one of my customer to send a picture so i will uh, i'll share it with you and have you tested the candle uh, i mean at your own house i mean the one which you made uh, uh the mold ones i've been res- uh, testing uh, with mm-hmm. a pillar uh, pill- a pillar rose and all uh, mm-hmm. only yeah. then uh, i found that when i burn i don't get the smell of the candles when it is just lying out i uh, the smell is very good But once you start burning, it's not uh, you know it doesn't sound when I say it's scented um, candle. How much oil are you adding in it? Uh, uh, I'm using an ink filler to add the fragrance. So there is uh, there is a particular count I would say. Uh, I would say um, the first thing is that uh, we have to we have to add the fragrance uh, as per the amount of wax that you're using, and we have to measure it in the grams. Okay. Uh, I guess I've already shared that earlier as well. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You told yeah, me. Yeah, so because uh, uh, for like a uh, hundred hundred gram candle, for each hundred gram wax, you have to add ten gram of fragrance oil. Okay. To be able okay. to get, I mean, uh, to be able to get some, uh, you know, throw out of the fragrance, uh, throw out of the candle. And secondly, you also have to, uh, like in case of soy and bees, uh-huh. you also have to cure them as well, like for for four to five days before getting. before burning them and to be able to get a good throw out of it because what should uh, i do that you have to cure them like you have to let it rest for 4 to 5 days okay before okay. burning them yeah like for paraffin okay. you can actually like uh, you, for paraffin as well you need to cure them but since paraffin the cold throw might not be as strong as uh, beeswax but the hot throw is so strong and amazing that okay uh, uh, like this particular sample which i was testing i made it in the night and i burned the next day and still even though i i mean even though i did not let it cure for the 4 to 5 days that we recommend i was still uh-huh. getting a strong hot throw in this whole room from paraffin and it was stronger than what i have achieved from soy okay. so that's why paraffin is much better in when you when you when we talk about cold throw but okay. uh, sorry hot throw uh, but okay. beeswax okay. is again it may not be uh, as i mean the cold throw is amazing and the be- mm-hmm. hot throw is also amazing it's not as good as paraffin but the hot throw is also amazing in case of beeswax okay soy wax have a uh, slightly lower cold throw and okay. lower hot throw as well that is the property of soy wax unfortunately okay okay so, yeah it is just because this is in trend but um, when you talk about the functional point of view and uh, mm-hmm. i would say paraffin is a clear winner because uh, it is also cheaper to make and with certain blends with certain testing can actually make uh, a premium candle out of paraffin as well it is okay. that is also possible yeah okay i guess this one was with that yeah hmm. so as you can see the texture Yeah. In case of in case, this is also a paraffin candle, and uh, I was uh, I had actually worked on this composition for one of my clients. So yeah, you can actually make a premium with a pre get a premium texture, premium color from paraffin as well. But yeah, since right now, uh, I would say the best okay. solution for you is uh, okay. One more thing that I want to ask: Are you really? I mean, uh, do you want your brand to be just uh, to be just synonymous with soy wax candle? or or do you want to or do you want or do you want to uh, you know add paraffin related products as well i mean I is, is there any sort of hesitation with, from paraffin i am not sure about paraffin because uh, that gives a lot of smell when i burn so that is very uncomfortable yeah. smell to it depends on i mean which kind of which 
quality of paraffin did you test? I mean, was it fully refined or semi refined? I think it's fully refined. No, I mean fully refined smells because in this, I actually the candle which I am testing, I added okay. fully refined, semi refined, and also micro crystalline wax as well. Okay. But I the only smell which I'm getting is the fragrance that I've added. Okay. Is. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I mean, uh, I the fully refined that you bought. I mean, is I mean, uh, is it NRL or IOCL? No, or is I'm it... not sure about this. Okay, I guess the brand uh, you might have bought from Amazon or from local stores, right? They might not have mentioned that. A local store, yes. Yeah, because they do not mention that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, may I, also one more thing. Uh, I guess it will help me analyze. What was the sh- or sh- was it in for form of chunks like the slab? Or it was, was like it? small pills. Small pills, okay. Uh, then it might be IOCL, yeah. Okay, okay. The platelets are, yeah, it may be IOCL. Yeah, IOCL or CPCL, yeah. But but yeah, it's, it's the same thing, yeah. Mm, but you should not be getting any smell out of it. How much oil did you add? How much fragrance oil? No, I made, uh, you know, for the ritual person, uh, she didn't want me to add any uh, fragrance oil to his... Uh, okay, okay. Fragrance free with just yeah, color. They did that. They yeah, got it. Yeah, so but I want saying, mm-hmm. bee wax for sure. I have not used it yet, so mm-hmm. I'm never to give a try to bee wax. Mm-hmm. So actually, the reason I was asking for paraffin because if you have paraffin available, and uh-huh. uh, let's say your uh, the issue that you're facing is the uh, issue of tunneling, in uh-huh. that case, like you can try and add some paraffin to the soil the flakes that you have. Uh, it will also improve the texture when it, it should also reduce the melting point of the candle as well. It will help, uh, it should I help to get have uh, paraffin hmm? with me so I can mix paraffin and soya together. Yeah, I mean, well, if you do not, if you do not have any hesitation from paraffin, because yeah. you're, we all have some different brand strategy, like in the candle brand that as I mentioned that I was working, I was uh-huh. only working with beeswax. Only, I mean, no, so I, I haven't yeah. any th- anything like that still now mm-hmm. for my brand. It's I'm just putting out it as scent candles. I don't mention soya wax or uh, whatever mm-hmm. it is. And mm-hmm. I think my, uh, you know, my customers or uh, or you know someone who visit my profile is not much into uh, candles, or they might not understand even if I say it's soya wax or uh, mm-hmm. uh, that kind of understanding is not there yet. So uh, that is also a good strategy. Uh, because uh-huh. if you might have seen the uh, Acom brand, right? Uh-huh. So the thing is, even Acom, they uh, deal in paraffin, and they deal they recent they only recently started adding soy wax. Okay. Before that, they were only dealing in paraffin, and uh, the candle looked look the candle looked still the candle still look luxurious because okay. of the color that they are uh, they are the color kind of colors that they. Uh, add in the candle the, because even though they are using paraffin but rest of the material that they are using is top uh-huh. notch the color that they are using is actually imported from Germany right okay. and we also wanted to do that uh, for our customer because but right now the cost of doing that is going to be very very high uh, okay. it will be around 10,000 per kg so I don't think it is the right time to do that mm-hmm. so yeah secondly uh, the uh, fragrances that they you, you are adding and the fragrances are also I mean, they're good enough. I mean, they're good fragrances. So, and the jars that they're using, but just because, the, and they're using paraffin because first paraffin may color both a Okay. Paraffin may hot throw both a chart. I got a pair of mind chain, Nikal, Niki, pay a paraffin. Sorry, 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 I do not understand Hindi. I'm sorry, I didn't get those. Things. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let me talk in English. So, yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying that if we just keep, if we just remove the bad notion for paraffin, in uh-huh. technical term, paraffin is a much better wax for making candles because you're going to get colors much uh-huh. easily. Uh-huh. The colors are going to be very, very bright. The, okay. uh, the fragrance hot throw is going to be better than uh, soy wax, right? Uh-huh. It is cheaper than uh, both of the both, both par soy and uh, beeswax, right? Definitely. Uh-huh. Yeah, so if you say and if we talk about, if you just keep uh, uh, letting, you know, remove the no, bad notion that we have for paraffin, uh-huh. paraffin is actually, I would say, you are actually able to build a better candle out of it. Right? Uh-huh. Yes, so and beeswax also have their own advantages. And uh, so, 
Acom, Acom just simply did that. I mean, uh, they actually made a wonderful product from from something which we are not want to relate our brands with nowadays. Even I still do not would not want my brand to I mean to uh, add parallel because I am able to explain this to you easily, but I may not be able to you know sometimes convey to my brand to my customers who are actually only used to buy uh, buying beeswax or soy wax handed from me. So yeah. I get so it. that's why I asked what is exactly your brand strategy that which is going on because that also uh, you know uh, uh, matters when we are you know choosing the product uh, to be able to while adding the product in our uh, catalog. But okay. if you, as you mentioned, that you do not have any such uh, brand strategy based on the kind of that kind of the fact that you're using, then yeah, then exactly. I guess uh, you can actually create. A prod a, a wax blend which is focused more on the performance part, like you're getting uh-huh, good uh-huh. action, you're getting good throw, you're getting good color. It yeah, could definitely. Be a blend I think of all the waxes, for making, right, uh, yeah, like tonight for making, I think I can blend soya wax and paraffin. Mm-hmm. That is a good idea, I guess. Uh, um, I wish uh, we had some at least one day for testing because uh, I because I as I said, this is an, another testing that you will be doing. It may work or it may not work, but without actually burning the candle, we may not be able to know that. Okay, then maybe tonight I'll go with Soya alone. Then <laughs> another day when I I just have want to be of... very uh, yeah, clear regarding that uh, all the yeah yeah I and... get it I get it yeah <laughs> yeah you so uh, but you can uh, do send me the image uh, and ask the customer to send an image so that at least if I can make some if I we can do some analysis and figure out the problem then uh, we can actually try to make something out of it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, right after the call, I will I will show you the picture. Sure, ma'am. Sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Like uh, I really got, you know, uh, at one point I really got stuck that maybe I am not the right fit. But once you, st- mm-hmm. once you told about the strategy and the sales stuff, I think that also mm-hmm. equally matters, right? Yeah. And also one more thing, you won't believe that. Uh, uh, how much years of experience that do you have in corporate? Sorry, how many? How much years of experience that you have in corporate, uh, like in your job? Uh, it's two point five now. Okay, so uh, actually, uh, for me, it, I would say it was uh, it, right now. I have around six to six point five years of experience as a software tester. Okay. And to be okay. honest, right now you won't believe that in building a business. Like the it, the experience, even though I want to get out of that culture, I mean not cul- culture, but uh, the daily routine of going to a job and you know logging and everything, I really want to get out of it right now and uh-huh. focus more on my business. But uh-huh. I will not deny the fact that the experience that I've gained from the six years that I spent in my uh, in my job have actually helped uh-huh. me out a lot because first. Uh, since I was working on both the stuff, my job and my uh, my business, it helped me my uh, be more patience. I mean, it helped me uh, build a lot of patience. Uh, secondly, uh, since I have been working for so long, I also gotten a chance to work with, uh, you know, team and maybe handle a micro team as well. And uh-huh. that actually, okay. that experience actually got, uh, you know, uh, transcend into the, the, the team that I'm building for my business and the, you know, the helpers that I've hired and uh, also the experience like the, uh, I may not know how to run a team, but the experience that I've received from this last six years, I at least know how not to run a team because I have worked in uh, four to five, like four to five different companies. I've shifted company after almost okay. every year. Okay. Right? Okay. So I have gotten a chance to work under different leaders, different management. So at mm-hmm. least I know uh, a difference between a good leader and a bad leader, and I uh, I just try to relate it what uh, what actually helped what? me get inspired when I was when when I was working under a good under a good leader, and what okay. actually made okay. me feel demotivated and put me in a situation where I was like I don't I don't care I'm getting salary no matter what I do. So I that also I have worked I have worked uh, you know put a lot of effort and work for twelve hours a day as well, and I have also you know just simply went to office and did not do a single thing as well i have, I have like i have been both in both the extremes and that actually experience actually helped me uh try, is actually helping me and uh, trying to build a good team myself and where, where i'm able to 
motivate them also the work that the way the uh, we are managing the work because even uh-huh. though this brand that i'm working technically on paper you can say that all i have to do is pack the stuff right That's okay it. okay get the order and the pack the stuff but uh-huh. the kind of planning that we in the morning when we actually allocate work we uh-huh. i have to uh, analyze the orders that I, i have and see how much time that it may take and i know and to and judge how much work sent that i have today uh, which if i if the guy i mean for who will be doing this stuff what is his okay. capability what is his speed okay. for doing work and then allocate the task in a way and uh, you know pick the orders it uh, in a way that they are able to uh, you know uh, do maximum pack maximum amount of orders that we can in a day like without overworking without over you know putting a lot of pressure because i there are times when i get like uh, 10 orders 10 to 20 orders in a row which are uh, where each order is going to take at least uh, 45 minutes to 1 hour to just pack that right but if i take if i say that hey we have a target of you know sending uh, 15 to 20 orders a day so you have, i don't care you have to set today if i keep on mm-hmm. doing that na because obviously they are not going to be interested and they will just uh, do the run pack away. they even if they do not run away they will be packing in a way where it may not be reaching safely to my customers so mm-hmm. i have to mm-hmm. you know do a diligence where i have to uh, analyze that this is the amount of big orders that i'm going to take this is the amount of medium orders that i'm going to pick it is the amount of small orders that i'm going to pick so that when i accumulate them together they are in a comfortable position to uh, pack them uh, correctly also i have given the even though uh, one of my helper is uh, used to actually she used to clean the uh, clean uh, clean the houses and uh, the building that i'm uh, living and she used okay. to clean the stairs and all the stuff and mm-hmm. uh, she was my first employee first main thing okay. is but the kind of understanding that she has for work and uh, when uh, i started motivating her she is the one who is actually uh, you know hel- uh, right now leading the, the another guy who is actually 12th pass okay so okay she is the one who is actually you know leading him as well okay so, that's so, nice and i was able to do that because i i actually from my, because i knew if I, when i when we when i have been given a, a leverage or a, a, a slight bit amount of authority to make my own decision when i'm working in my job so i gave the same uh, similar kind of authority to them that you can i have told you i have uh, you know i have already shared the standard i have already shared these sops that how each certain thing is going to be packed okay. you already know how to pack that you already know how much bubble wrap is going to be, you need to uh, apply how much tape you need to apply that is already mm-hmm. you know i have already trained them for months now make your own decision like these are the orders i have planned from my side uh-huh. these are the orders plan accordingly you can you have levels to plan accordingly uh, these uh, i'll just say that these are the uh, urgent order but apart from it do it do as you want like you okay. do, I, okay. i will not be you know mai bar bar nahi aunga i won't be you know bugging you and all and uh, you have all the authority and the thing is also another thing which i did i'm not i do not say that okay uh, since i have, uh, like we have do not have work do this if i do not have work if i am i have been able to manage my work on time like they have uh-huh. finished my work, finish the work on time and i know that tomorrow work that i have for tomorrow can actually be completed tomorrow as well i simply mm-hmm. let them go because that also gave me a leverage because when i need them to work extra they actually stay on their own i mean i mean on their own, by their own decision and there okay. are times when uh none of none of us have, i mean the there we have we have busy, so much busy in work that all three of us actually forgot to eat lunch as well and they even don't even mind they said that we just want i have to force them to go and eat so okay uh, okay so that actually helped me from i mean that is the experience that i uh, was able to take from my corporate as well so no matter what you're doing right now uh, and uh, which which is your, what is your profile Oh, uh, like I'm a programmer at Cognizant. I work for yeah. Oracle support team. Okay, so I'm a tester. Yeah, nice talking okay. to you. Okay. So yeah, like even as a programmer, like you, I mean, since you're working in a team, you all you should be able to, uh, 
you know see what are the good qualities in a leader that you would, would have helped you be more motivated definitely definitely yeah, so bring those i would say bring those elements in your work as well no matter just do not think that this is a candle making business that is a software company uh-huh, uh-huh. Craft, like i've been of, thinking about uh, you know uh, you told mm-hmm. me right uh, you can get candles and then put it on my uh, put it on my brand and send that almost like reselling right Right. that that point is 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 on my head right now <laughs> because sure. i feel mm-hmm. the marketing part uh, i wouldn't say i'm the best but i'm giving my best in marketing mm-hmm. and sales stuff yeah. but when it yeah. comes to the quality that is where i lack so mm-hmm. why not try or uh, try out different stuff so maybe i'll get back oh. to you around that but i w- uh, that was not a pitch from my side but i really no, I, 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 that am, part. I am because... i am looking it as a pitch because i think it's going to work for me <laughs> I I will be happy to to be able to help you out because uh, I mean for me I mean we are going to start something similar where uh, once I get for free from my you know job in maybe around April so one uh-huh. of the project that I'm going to start working on is going to be that where just like the fragrances and the bags that we have we are also going to start you know making some ready made samples like candles in bulk like uh-huh. you, for example you can actually buy ten twenty fifty pieces. and certain fragrance or certain design like this we'll be obviously starting small with just couple of designs in jars and couple of boxes not to make it uh, too confusing okay like, okay so that someone who is actually interested in making soy candle with the fragrance that they have and right now they since right now uh, they are also struggling to get proper melt pool and all the stuff uh-huh, uh, by uh-huh. the time obviously uh, when we get into business we are really we really want to generate sale as soon as possible so the basic idea is by the time you are able to you are figuring out your own product you are figuring uh-huh. out your test, the your own set of standards that you want to go for or mm-hmm. figuring out a good way to make your own working candle by the mm-hmm. time that you are spending the time uh, you can buy uh, the can buy the candle it's like 10 20 50 pieces from the website and start selling them and so that both the things can run in parallel by the time Definitely. you have like if you want to just focus on retail uh, on just buying in bulk in retail but that's a different story but if you really want to build your own brand like you, you want to build the candle from your i mean at your own uh store I mean, your own house or on your own, yeah right so yeah by the time you are able to get that uh, in a selling uh, you know stage you can generate the you can keep on generate the income from the retail uh, from just buying and trading part so that okay. is the kind of project that you want to work on and in that with the, all the candles that we will be selling from on our website they will also have the recipes of each and every candle so that if you want to make that product you can actually follow that recipe and you know if you think that uh, this particular fragrance is selling very well you may not have to invest in buying the fragrance you can simply buy 10 20 candles and try to test your market with, with those candles and if you see see that yeah this candle is really working you can actually mm-hmm. keep the recipe and make the candle as per that recipe and simply start selling that yeah i get it yeah yeah, yeah. that is also one of the project that i want to work on but again that it, it, it does require uh, you know time and effort and also i'll be need to build a proper team for candle making as well so that's yeah it. that's why i uh, have actually postponed it uh, along with my mold making uh, uh, setup So yeah, these are okay. the two projects that I'll be start uh, that I'll start working on after maybe around uh, May. I'll be starting working on both of these project projects, and hopefully in in uh, next two three months after May, and I'll be able to get some solid, uh, you know, products in both the projects are out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. It is so nice talking to you, and I really, you know, some motivation. and you know i wouldn't mm-hmm. say that i'm not the right fit now i can work on the products a little happy tonight yeah <laughs> Definitely. as i said remember even when i started i i mean right now at least you have some knowledge base right mm-hmm. you have uh, you actually have some brands who are who have all the stuff available at one stop right exactly. when we started we i didn't have anything that's the reason i built this brand because i felt that this is one of the pain points And, definitely, uh, definitely. Yeah, and I am using the similar uh, mentality because uh, all the all softwares are they are nothing but trying to solve you know solve a certain solution I mean certain problem they are just mm. a solution for certain problem 
like what no matter which software that you're building right so this, i'm using the same mentality here like instead of building softwares i'll also be getting into uh, software market as well like i do have some plans for uh, that i think uh, certain pro- pro- products which are going to work very well and uh, okay but yeah just like building a software uh, you, i i just simply analyze the problem that uh, market is having and i build a product for that like for the, what you're reading behind is actually what a solution what the pro- solution uh-huh. that uh-huh. i actually uh, got a chance to build in last one week because one of the major challenge in candle making is to get a black color in your candle specifically in beeswax and soybean in paraffin it is still easier okay because, because paraffin in paraffin you can actually get good colors right but in soy yeah, and beeswax exactly. if, the moment you add the moment you add uh black color it is going to give you a gray shade something like do i have it yeah and not? almost all the colors you know I, uh, they yeah. make uh, it's it it get lightens i would say yeah that is because of the because you are adding something in white color okay okay that is the reason for that but uh, it uh, i mean it took me around a week and a lot of testing uh, to okay. be able to get a nice jet okay. black okay okay and the reason it took me so long is because uh when we uh, if you when i tried to make this with the uh, with the uh, with the black color uh-huh. i actually had to i actually had to add uh, to be able to make this size pillar i added, okay. i uh, even tried adding around 3 tablespoon of black color okay. in just 150 okay. gram of wax okay. and in one tablespoon i was i mean it was weighing around 6 grams so uh-huh. we can say around 36 uh, sorry not 36 18 gram of color like 18 gram of color and okay. just 150 gram of wax and even though uh, i was able to get a black candle uh-huh. out of it uh-huh. it was not as black as that as black as i wanted okay it was still at least not gray mm-hmm. but the smell that i was getting out of it was similar to shoe polish because of the black okay. color that i added that okay. and i okay. pretty much knew that the candle is going to clog there's no way this particular candle is going to burn because of the come out of color that i've added okay uh, right so that's when we actually uh, i was oh, and the reason i was building this product because of a client one of the uh, of our client actually requested it uh, uh-huh. when i accepted the order i didn't know that they want a black candle in these wax it was later when they told me that they want black candle and they um, i said okay i'll try <laughs> and it took i was about to uh, you know cancel the order because uh, i was i knew that even if the i was even if i am able to make the product it will not work because uh, mm-hmm. so uh, but luckily uh, i had a eureka moment and i was able to figure out a way to make a black without adding black so that's nice so, so and also i only had to add few pinches of color so okay. yeah so that Yeah, this is the one that I have, and the, actually the candle actually made is actually blacker than this. Just give me a second. Let me see if I have. I don't have the candle, but uh, uh, this is the leftover wax that I uh, pulled. Okay. As you can see, it is even blacker. Yeah. Right yeah. now, it actually looks more slightly brown, but this is the shade that I was able to achieve with okay. the recipe that I. So yeah, so when I look, when we look uh, something. as a problem that you want to solve then i i mean you can use this in the mentality for your clients as well like uh, if they want something uh, mm-hmm. you can actually dissect the problem and do a research just like we do when we are developing or when we are testing in software i get it yeah so i just want to do clear you know uh, introduce you to the introduce you to the mindset uh that you can actually use a similar mindset when you're coding in your product making as well because i am a tester so that's why I, my whole i mean i have i have been testing for my whole career and so that's why i try to find so you know uh mistakes and problems but you are a developer so you already have a developing mindset and you yeah. i guess i would say you have you might be having a more uh, your mind be more in tune to problem solving than i uh, than i have because all uh i am also you know in, uh, i also try to f- f- think about a solution but that uh-huh. is because of how i you know love, you know 
love to analyze things in my personal line uh, personal life as well but your whole the kind of work that you're doing is act, actually demands you to do that as well okay, Where okay. You, so i would say that if you, once you try to apply the simpler mindset uh, like the problem solving instead of thinking about the problem think of the uh, thinking about the solution uh, this is also going to help you a lot because that actually helped me you know uh, figure out i mean come out of so many big problems i get it yeah yep yeah. uh, i think we should connect another day and sure, uh, sure. i have uh, you know if, if i get some other doubts or i'm mm-hmm. definitely going to try out the wick a wick thing that you told me yes, so sir. maybe i will definitely get a doubt when i when i do it uh, you know rather than mm-hmm. being theoretical when i do it practically i think i'll correct, definitely correct. Get mm-hmm. and one, one of the solution one of the quick solution in case you feel that your candle is turning mm-hmm. one of the quick solution that you can go for is uh, you can yes you can add paraffin but you can also uh, do double wicking like you can uh, you can uh, do, do two weeks and yeah as you mentioned uh, you also asked that uh, when we should be using two wicks mm-hmm. then i would say uh if the jar is at least uh, i mean for me I, i personally feel that the jar should be wider than the 3 inch diameter but even oh. if it is 3 inch diameter i would say it is still good enough okay like, good enough for double wicking and okay. there is a reason for that because i feel that there should be enough distance uh, this is not i mean as there should be enough distance between the jar and the wick as well and between okay. the wicks as well so okay okay in order to maintain uh, so that the jar doesn't get overheat overheated also as a, the reason i would, i i prefer to a certain distance from between the wicks because if wicks are too close then the flame may interact and it may shoot so that's why uh, at certain distances also i would say is better to have in your candles but since okay. uh, your jar i would say is wide enough and uh, like since we do not have any other option i would say you okay. can also go for double wick as well okay 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 yeah. thank you thank you so much yantik this is really really a really help for me i am glad it, uh, that it is thank you thank you so much okay. and i'll definitely get back to you and i sure uh, you were telling right you're going to host another uh, session or something paid session yeah. i am looking forward to that as well so actually right now we are, i am planning so that either it does uh, the uh, class will be on how to get uh, you know how to get bright colors in soy and beeswax uh, okay. either i'll be covering this topic because it is basically depending uh, is, in this i'll be actually discussing about uh, the color masking techniques please basically okay okay yeah but i i still need to develop some more recipe uh, for that either i'll be doing that or or i'll be you know mm-hmm. uh, teaching about the uh, recipes which i'm using in this particular candle which is okay. a blend of para, para fully refined semi refined and micro distillate and uh, but right now i'm trying to figure out the solution for this problem because yeah. uh, okay. in this recipe uh, in this recipe since i've added stearic acid what stearic acid does is it actually shrinks the wax Uh, it actually okay. shrinks the wax okay. as well due to which the the surface addition is lower right uh-huh. but uh but if i do not add stearic acid even though then in this composition the surface addition is very very amazing but i am okay. facing another issue uh, where i was i'm getting white spot due to which i had to add stearic acid so right now uh, you know we're formulating a proper recipe where uh, i'm getting a good enough surface addition and also i'm not get i'm not getting those uh, white spots so once that is done uh, i'll be you know uh, scheduling a class so that's sure. why I'm, i haven't been able to schedule a class from uh, last sure, week sure, because sure, i'm actually right. working on a proper recipe yeah okay okay this should definitely been a paid class i wish <laughs> I mean, the reason uh, I'm working, I'm trying to, you know, create, uh, you know, to work, come up with uh, interesting topics like this is because I'm, you know, taking paid session. Earlier, I used to take paid session. I'm now is, uh, I used to, I didn't at that time. I was like, I was also at that time also I tried to uh, provide as much value as I can, but I was more focusing mostly on just you know simple candle making. I was not uh, trying to, you know, make something which 
can actually you, you know make you feel that yes this is something as you said should be paid okay 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 yeah. so yeah for me it's the other way around because since i'm charging and that's why i really want <laughs> i'm charging because i feel that i should be charging at the time okay. because i'm taking out time from my business but at the same time i feel that if i'm charging then i have to you know respect that as well that you have paid something out of your own pocket which you could have invested in your own business so i uh, like for me it goes the bo- goes both ways so that's why uh, i'll be i'm working on developing new stuff and uh, new uh, you know interesting a uh, new topics which is going to help you out uh, as a candidate or at least as a business owner definitely definitely ji yes. yes. so uh, thank you so much yaar thank you i i am not so sure what else i should tell i will maybe get back to you after uh, sure. monday once after this yeah. exhibition gets over so sure, maybe sure. we can uh, you know if free we can connect for another session or uh, maybe yeah. we can see, see for uh, you know for your paid course something sure definitely yeah and i'll also look at uh, look at the uh, you know uh, mm-hmm. wick thing uh, i wanted to you know since everything is there at one place i don't want to get it from local markets anymore so i i get in touch with that as well sure which is already well tested and on uh, uh, you know ready to grab why should i waste my time then there yeah i mean you you will still have to do testing it just you have option to uh, test different with uh, okay okay yeah. but you still need testing i mean even though because as i said uh, a candle with all, all the same wax, with, with the same wax same wick same jar even same oil made behave differently based on the fragrance load that you have like 10% fragrance load and 12% fragrance load may behave differently so you may have to test your wick for that as well okay okay yeah perfect then sure thank you so much anti thank you so much for uh, you know spending your time i would say i'm i'm glad that uh, you find it helpful thank you so much yeah. welcome man have a good day man good thank night thank you i'll get back to you after uh, this weekend sure thank you thank you so much welcome yeah. have a good night bye bye same to you bye